Hi Perry Township students and staff. Today I'm going to show you OverDrive and its app Libby. From the Perry Township resource portal you can scroll down to under quick links to public library and go to the Indianapolis Public Library as this is a resource there or you could just even Google Indianapolis Public Library. Then you'll want to select books, movies, and music and scroll down to download and stream. And the public library has many virtual resources. We're going to scroll down to the second row of resources, Overdrive and Libby. And notice it says here audiobooks, ebooks, comic books. And you can just select kids only or teens only as well. Now I can search by browsing or I can search for something specific. I can look at specific collections. I'm going to try teens. So in teen collections, maybe I want to look at popular titles. And I can see that some of these I would have to place a hold and be put on a wait list. I could add in my email address and they will let me know when it's available for me to read. If it has a red bar at the top, it is available to go ahead and read. And I can just click on books that I'm interested in checking out or looking at in more detail. I can filter my search with the controls on the left side of the screen. I can just look at fantasy books, even though these are popular titles. I can look by Lexile. I can choose my Lexile level. And then choose from those choices then. I can go back up to the home screen. I can search by subject. So there are lots of different subjects I can jump into. Maybe I want a thriller. Do notice also that it will tell me if it's an ebook or an audiobook. And over here on the left, I can also choose what format, if I want an ebook or an audiobook, and what kind of format those might be in. So, a lot of controls on the left hand side. Now, maybe I know what I want to check out. I can also go to the search tab and there's an advanced search option. I could search comic book and graphic books and just browse those. I could go back to search. Let's say I want to search something written by John Green. And maybe I want it in Spanish. So there is a book written in Spanish. It's an ebook format, and I can tell by the little book icon at the bottom of the book. So let's say I want to check out a title. 
I'll find my title. It must say available at the top in red. If it's a wait list item, it'll say wait list. And usually the public library is pretty good about letting you know you'll get an email that your book is in and you can download it. Uh, you can also ha have it set to automatically download. So I'm going to select the book and it tells me how many copies are available and I'm going to select the red borrow. My timeline for borrowing is 21 days. Select borrow. And I can decide how I want to read it. And if you have the app, it will pop up in your app as well be as they are synced. They are synced with your library card number. So if I just click on the side to the right side, I can go through the pages. If I click on the left side, I can go backwards. If I click at the bottom of the screen, I can get some controls to change it be one page at a time. I click on the bottom of the screen again. I can go back to the dual screen where I have two different pages at a time, like a traditional book. And there are my chapters, and I could click into any of those chapters and jump in at that point. Getting my controls back on the right-hand side of the screen, I can also jump into chapters right here. So I really didn't want to go that far along in the book. I can go back to the first chapter. Click at the bottom, and I get my controls. I can search for certain specific quotes within the text. I can change my settings. I can make it darker. Whatever is most pleasing to your eyes. I can bookmark my page and, and have that show up. It shows where my bookmarks are. I can have the book available for offline access if I'm not going to be connected to the internet. When I am finished reading for today, I can just X out of the title. And I can find it in my loans under my account. So if I want to go back to it, I can now read it in the browser. Now we will check out an audiobook. If I go to subjects, I can browse subjects, I can just see the audiobooks. And I'm going to select one in one of the genres. Let's say science fiction. So again I have to borrow. And I can just listen and borrow or I can download it. push play to, to play it. You can change the speed with which the reader talks. You can bookmark. You have controls on the right again or you can jump into different chapters. You can find your bookmarks. You can make a note. Tips and Secrets can give you more ideas on how to use this resource. So for more information about Overdrive and Libby, I can go back to the Indianapolis Public Library website 
and on the right hand side of the screen they have tutorials about many of their offerings. In this case I'd look for Overdrive and Libby and there are video, there's another video that you can play for more information and it will go over the Libby app that you can download on your Android or iPhone. You do need your Indianapolis Public Library card to check out books here. Contact your Perry Township Schools school librarian for more information about this resource.